everyone, it's Ivan with KipAdger.com here to bring you another range report on this guy, my favorite little bolt gun, which is the CZ527 carbine in 762 by 39 I'm continuing my journey to figure out what ammo pairs best with this rifle, and I'm down to the last couple boxes from my big box of imported steel case stuff. These are both made by Wolf. One is their polyformance, the other is just their performance. Both 123 grain full metal jacket. Gonna go ahead and start with the polyformance. Put five rounds on one target I have down there, five rounds on the other, then go check them. Target set up at about 100 yards using this scope variable set to four power. All right, that was the 10th round of the Polyformance 123 grain. Let's go check them. These are my first groups with the Wolf Polyformance 123 grain full metal jacket. This first one I shot cold up here and then my second group really cleaned it up. But the first group, I got this guy way up there and edge to edge, including him, just barely over four inches, pretty unimpressive. If I were to get rid of that guy, in a perfect world. That group shrinks to just under two inches. This one though, I actually cleaned it up pretty good. I got edge to edge, the furthest ones are a little under 1.6 inches, which is probably the best I've shot out of that rifle. And this honestly might be the best ammo for it. But I have the 123 grain Full Metal Jacket Wolf Performance ammo. So I'm gonna go jam that up, post two new targets and get that shot. As I load up this 123 grain full metal jacket performance ammo by Wolf, it becomes quite apparent what the difference is between this and their polyformance. Their polyformance ammo essentially has some sort of polymer coating on the steel jacket, whereas this, this is their old school stuff. It's actually lacquered, so we'll see how this stuff does once I get it jammed up. All right, let's go check them. Here we have the second set of the two groups, this being the 123 grain full metal jacket Wolf Performance ammo, their lacquered stuff. Up here, for whatever reason, it seems like these groups have moved a little higher than a lot of the other ammo, printing higher. Keep in mind this rifle zeroed at 50 yards and we're shooting at 100, but not a horrible group, but edge to edge for this ones are looking at about 2.2 inches, which isn't amazing, isn't that great. Down here, opened up a little bit more. I know I had at least one flyer down here, jerked my trigger. But furthest guys, edge to edge down here, we're looking at about just under 3.6 inches. Neither one of them spectacular. This one obviously being a little bit better. That pretty much wraps up all the foreign steel cased ammo I have. Got a whole box of different flavors, went through all of them. And I will say so far, I think that 123 grain full metal jacket wolf polyformance, probably the best this thing groups. That might be the winner. But I probably will pick up some of the American manufactured ammo, give it a try in there, see how it does. But so far I think that wolf's the winner. Fun little rifle, love shooting this thing. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.